and one more thing guys I will simply create a logout button right in here for testing purposes just to show it to you how will we log out from here so first let me implement that and then we will test it so right down in here we will say body and right in the body we will have an elevated button okay and right in there it's going to take the on press event first we will show some text for that button so in here we will say text and then we will say low out so that's going to be the text that we are about to show right on the job screen right in the body and right in the on press what we will do we will say first let me create the instance for the firebase auth so in here we will say firebase auth add the final in the start now we we'll name this as all it's going to be private and then firebase all first let me import the library for the firebase all so the error will be gone then that one imported firebase all in here dot instance there we go the suggestion so all fine right in here semicolon now copy that and write in here what we will do we'll simply paste it and then we will say auth dot sign out it will simply sign out the user there we go sign out with this suggestion that's fine semicolon at the end now in here we will say navigator dot can pop contacts if there will be any kind of dialog box, loading dialog box, we will remove it. Right in the if we will say navigator. Okay. Dot. There we go. With the pop contacts, it's gonna remove that. Or if there will be nothing, then what we will do? We will say now right in here. So as you guys know, right after, we will simply push the user to the user's tab. So in here we will say navigator dot push replacement. It is going to take the context. Now we will provide the root. So in here we will say material page root and we are gonna push the user to the user step that we just created. Okay. That one. As you guys can see right in here, user step. Okay. Close that and right in here use it call upon that right at the end same colon import the library for the user stack there we go so as you guys know let me show you one more time now I will simply how to load the app and you guys will notice right in here the logout button there we go with the logout button okay now if I press on that button it will simply log out this current user so let's go and test that click on that button there we go it's working totally fine and now we are on the login screen and you guys already know that in the user state I have already explained this in detail if the user snapshot dot data if it's equal to no then we will simply push the user to the login and if there will be any data we will simply push the user to the job screen so in here now there is no data of a user because we log out the user and there is no data for that current user then simply there will be a login screen and you guys can see that right in here right in the emulator okay and if there will be any kind of data for example if we enter the email password and there will be any kind of data for that current user then we will simply show the job screen as you guys know already when we were logged in by the share account share 364 there was that job screen okay so that's fine and now we will now log in by the other account 
first let me show you right in the Firebase so right in here in the authentication we already logged in by the share account and we tested it successfully now we will simply in my case I have three account okay so I will now log in by the Ali one two three at the at gmail dot com so let's go and test it now right in here I will say Ali one two three at the red gmail dot com and the password for that account was I think from one two three four five six seven visibility off and there we go we are successfully logged in and it's working totally fine and we test it with the second account so let's go and log out now let's go back to the firebase and right in here as I told you before that mail and that mail was a fake email okay I can have the access to this mail and that first one it's my original email okay I will use that and I will show you one more time let's go back to the Android studio and I will use that mail okay it's my original email as you guys know already I will go towards the forget password okay in here let's say I forget my password for that share 3654 at the rate okay and gmail.com so I forgot my password let's say and now I will click on this reset now so now we are on the login screen and I will check my mail if they send us the mail for the reset password or not and I have already show you the result for the forget password and we will test it one more time as you guys know already let us go and check it there we go they send us the reset password link it's right in this message okay we will open that it's my inbox for now and that one it was the old one as we tested before okay now I will open that first one okay and click on this URL as you guys can see right in here it's here 3654 at gmail.com account click on that if you guys remember the password for this account we before changed it to a Zain Malik 12345 now I will simply change it to iJob let me show it to you right in here iJob clone app so that's my new password as you guys can see right in here let's save it password change successfully let's go back to the Android studio in here we will test it now at the red gmail.com guys for now let's say I will try my old password which was Zen Malik one two three four five okay now if I log in by this account it will simply not log in the user because it's a old password and we change this to Azure clone app so we will test that old password if it's working or not and there we go as you guys can see error occurred the password is invalid or the user doesn't have password so the old password is not working now we will test the new password that we just updated so it was iJob clone app let me check it now and there we go it's working totally fine so basically that's it for this video and right from the next video we will work further